First question is from Wakeman Tyler. What type of def- deadlift is better, sumer, sumo, or conventional? Yeah, I like, the, su- sumer. I like the split stance deadlift. That's the bet. I'm just kidding. I made that up. Ooh. You know, uh, which one's better? I don't know. Depends on who's asking me. Uh, they're both valuable. Uh, I would say they're different exercises. I think that's yeah. the first thing you have to point yeah. out. Yeah, like, I think that the fact that um, that's what I mean. Who's asking me and why they're asking me? Right, what their goal is, right? Yeah, what their like, goal is and what they've been currently doing. All that stuff. Matt, it's a depends answer. Is you're, you're right. Um, I mean, I think, the problem is they have they have deadlift in the name, so people consider that. And because powerlifting competitions allow them to be interchangeable, yeah. people think that they are interchangeable in the sense that one is equal to the other, and what's the difference? But they're not. They're they're totally different exercises. Yeah, in yeah. terms of leverage, right? It doesn't have, one feels a little bit more natural than the other. Sometimes for people, I know for me, I probably should have stuck with sumo, just in the way that uh, you know it feels in terms of the leverage with it. But uh, they're totally different exercises, is what we need to express. Yeah, they both work the posture of your chain quite a bit. You're going to get some back development. Um, bodybuilders tend to prefer if they do deadlift conventional although in the 90s there was a bodybuilder Mike Francois Michael Francois incredible back erector spinae was huge and he was a sumo deadlifter so was Colombo wasn't he Colombo was conventional oh he did oh, both things because I know I've seen him do sumo yeah yeah so but, he, but he, conventional is where he would pull like 700 oh, okay. pounds but I mean it, again it depends I like them both I mean I like the sumo for to to feel more in the glutes for some people, although some people feel the glutes more with conventional. I think sumo for some people is easy to learn, especially if you're shorter. Women tend to be able to perform sumo easier in the sense that they get the biomechanics easier than conventional. If you're tall and lanky, yeah. you're built for conventional. And just, you'll see people can deadlift a lot who are tall and lanky. They tend to stick to conventional because it works better with the leverage. For the average person, I think there's tremendous value in you doing both. Uh, learn both both exercises and you know and the one you you like best or you do the best at make that your staple and then intermittently use the other one i mean that's what i do conventional deadlifting i'm much stronger in i'm better at it i like it more um but i definitely sumo deadlift i just uh, i like to interrupt my deadlifting with sumo deadlifting every now and then and train that way for a, a block and then i go back to to conventional because they are different exercises and they both even though there's carryover to the, the both of them uh, they have value of, of both being in your routine. Yeah, I, I did conventional for a long time, and I got really good at it. And then I remember saying, you know, getting I kind of hit a plateau. So I wanted to do sumo for a little while, just see if it would break through a plateau. And what I noticed was I had this kind of external, you know, hip abduction weakness, right? My pushing my knees out, staying stable was actually quite hard for me because I hadn't trained sumo for a long time. So... I ended up training sumo for a while and got my sumo deadlift within range of my conventional. I think my conventional at the time was 560 or something like that. And I think I got my sumo up to 500. So that's within 60 pounds. But then when I went to my back to my conventional, I did feel really stable in it. And I think it's just because I addressed some of those weaknesses and, and imbalances. So I do think it's important to do both. You could probably favor one uh, over the other. Uh, but I, I also don't think they're interchangeable. I think that they are different enough to where you're going to get different benefits uh, from either one. But they are both, you know, posterior chain exercises, glute heavy, hamstring heavy. They're both going to create a lot of tension on the back. You're probably going to get more back activation from conventional than you will from sumo, just because of the the leverage. You're more bent over. Um, but both great exercises and. You know, what makes exercises better or worse, a lot of it depends on the individual, what they need to work on, what's better for them. Uh, Like, for example, we talk about the squat being a great exercise all the time, but if somebody lacks the mobility and the stability to do a squat, it's not a great exercise yet for them, right? We got to work up to that point. So that's, I think, the the key takeaway with this particular question. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here, or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.